G'day mate. Now this video is um, like part two. We we'll um, put on the front of the video watching this um, saw cut. I didn't make much of a video that day. I wasn't that feeling that well. So I'll explain what is in this saw. Uh, it's got an aftermarket air filler paper one, so it's designed to last. That's up there, so um, it doesn't let crap and stuff into the motor. It's got a, a four um, four transfer chambers. There's two both sides. Um, you can tell by the veins on top of the motor. Um, it just runs better. Has more compression. Try to pull it over. So single ring base gasket delete. Just got more compression. So yep, you see the video cutting. Um, it's also got a um, aftermarket rim drive sub. So you can see that. And there is a rim drive in there, so that's aftermarket. Um, it's a, bit, a better quality one. I replaced the handle on this one off a, a boomerang saw because their handles seem to be um, thicker. The one that came off this wasn't thick. Um, it bent easy, so this one's a lot better um, of quality, I find. There is different types of quality. Um, this is Thunder Down Undercat. And anyone ever um, knows why I put the sticker the way I did. I'll tell you why, it's more of a, um, a side towards holding Commodores because they're the Roaring Tiger. Or Lion, Lion I should say. It's um, a good little saw, but I have to sell it to make some cash. All right, I'll put this up for sale on eBay, eBay um, Sunday night, a strain. So, sometimes in the night it will go up. All right, guys, um, enjoy watching the video. I should add too, also, if you... This is a poured saw. Um, if you don't know how to tune, don't buy it. Um, you need to be able to tune a saw because when you get to your um, elevation wherever you are, I've I've done this on sea level. If you're high up in the mountains, you have to tune this saw. You have to line this thing out. So um, the screws for the carby, they're plain head screws. You gotta find your way in there. Look down in there. You gotta tune it with the air filter on, preferably with the cover on too. But uh, you won't be able to see. Um, it's very difficult to get to, but. It's tuned for what I've got here, as you've seen in the video, but um, if you're going to buy this, it's not just a normal work saw. If you know how to tune a saw, good. It might, but um, otherwise, it's not one of those saws that you think, oh, yeah, you're liable to see. And when you pull out of the shed at the barbecue and say, hey, look at this thing, it goes like goes like a beauty. Um, muffler's been um, done up too. It's got a bigger muffler outlet. Different in there. The, the baffle's been removed too, so she's just designed to have some fun with. All right. Enjoy the video. Other thing I should have pointed out too, this is a, um, a new um, longer chain. Um, in the video I do two cuts, it's the anti-cuts, this um, chain's actually done so it's brand new. Um, it's an old bar from another saw I had years ago, but um, yeah, two two cuts on the um, green Australian hardwood. It's all done. Right guys. Yeah, okay, mate, just done a quick tune. I think it's correct, I don't know, but I'll do a cut. Um, a bar. Green hardwood. So, thank you, both of them. Warm up.
I gave it a bit more fuel. Add more fuel. Alright guys, over now.